Jim here, welcome to Beyond the Sprue. Let's dive into the coolest model releases of the week. There are some big announcements from Airfix, but also at Meng and AFV Club. AFV Club are making the 135, a YPR 765 Panzer Rups anti-tank model. The YPR 765 is a tank destroyer equipped with an immersion hammerhead turret. Meng models are releasing in 124 scale, a rather nice Audi R8 LMS EVR RT model. Alpha models are released Ferrari F1-75 in 120 scale. Vespid models are released in 172 scale T90 Russian main battle tank. This tank comes with 3D printed parts and some photo etch and the detail for 172 looks pretty good. SS models have announced in 148 scale a 3D printed version of the RBT-5 which is a Soviet experimental light tank from World War II based on the T-60. It featured a flamethrower instead of a traditional gun making it suitable for close quarters combat and anti-infantry operations. Kit Form Services have announced in 124 scale their version of an SAS Pink Panther. Planet Models have announced a rather exciting Morris CS9 in 172 scale. This comes as a detailed kit, has 3D printed parts, uh, photo etch and decals, and is depicted in a North African campaign. Freedom Models have announced in 148 scale some female pilots. These ladies appear in, in the Republic of China Air Force, the US Navy Air Force and United States Air Force schemes. In 120 scale, Stone Models have announced a figure of Satori Nakajima, as well as a figure of Nigel Mansell. In 144, Revel have announced a scale model of the Kriegs of Fushkuta as well as a retooling of a 1960s mould in 196 of the HMS Beagle. In 1200 scale, Revo have also announced a tooling of the Zenut Chrysler Hermann Marvag Zida. Starling models are making a new version of the HMAS Yara in 1350 scale with resin, 3D printed and photo etched parts turned brass parts and decals with a full hull. They've also updated their HMS Amethyst in 1700 scale with resin and photo etch. And also in 1350 scale they're bringing out a new model of the HMS Deptford and that also has resin 3D printed photo etch parts, turned brass parts, decals with a full hull. AFV Club have announced in 1700 scale a new version of the Ro Ching Kung class frigate. FX have announced a new version of the RNLI Shannon class lifeboat in 172 scale. Also in 172 scale a new RNLI 7 class lifeboat. With some of the proceeds of each kit sale going to the RNLI charity fund. And in 172, we have a new tooling by Revel of the Arado AR240, a twin engine reconnaissance and bomber aircraft developed by Arado during World War II. Moving on to FX new announcements of some new moulds, Messerschmitt BF109 F4 in the starter set series. Also in the starter set series, a 172 American P51D Mustang. And an aircraft that I'm quite fond of is the Typhoon FGR4, also in 172 starter set series by FX, looking really nice. Superkits have announced a limited edition to 100 pieces in 144 scale of the DC930. Also limited to 100 pieces is the FW190A-2, also by Superkits in 172 scale. a and A models have announced a new tooling of the F-15 uh, reporter aircraft which was a modified P-61 used for reconnaissance and they've also announced in 172 scale an XP-61E experimental fighter which also was developed from the P-61 Black Widow. 
Moving on to the new Airfix tool-ins, um, we have in 172 scale the Consolidated B24H Liberator. First impressions seem to be very good for the accuracy and the high level of detail. It remains to be seen whether or not we get mass sets or optional PE details. Then we have a new tool in 148 of the British Bulldog Mark II. Uh, this also looks to have very good detail. Please let me know your thoughts on these FX new toolings in the comments below. Moving on, we have a new tooling 172 of the Boeing Chinook HC1. This appears also to have good detail, um, but looking at the cockpit, I think that's crying out for a PE cockpit. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with the new scale model releases. See you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.